The uh, running back next to him is Griffin Woodell. We'll tell you about him in a moment, but he doesn't get the ball for the second time. They're going to pass the football, looking over the middle, now throwing to the right, got a man wide open. He's darting down the field of the 40. He's at the 50-yard line and finally punched out of bounds. Uh Player down for William and Mary. That's Jalen Jones being attended to over there. That's not a good sign. Joseph Groves in the ball game now for William and Mary at safety. Back to pass. They throw his way, and he is uh, beaten along the de into the end zone, and the catch is made. Touchdown, U Albany. Now four wideouts to the right side of the football field. One of those uh, in motion back this way. Back to pass the left-hander Darius Wilson on third and long. And he's got himself a first down and found himself the tight end. Mr. Official, move those chains. Sean McElwain, who has come to the forefront in the last couple of weeks, makes a nice catch over the middle. And it's first and ten. That uh, is a computer concepts first down for William & Mary. Ulahi is wide to the right side, third down and ten. Back to pass, the quarterback, he's got to elude one man and he cannot do it. And that one man was uh, uh, improbable, Bill Hackett on a cornerback blitz coming in, making the stop. Great play by him and the tribe will be forced to punt it away. Second down and six. Woodell will get the football and slicing in and coming in and making the tackle. Might have been Alex Washington. A nice job by that young man. Second down and three, two receivers to the near side, tied in also to the near side of the football field. J.T. Mayo in motion, back to pass goes Darius Wilson, throwing this way, and J.T. Mayo makes a nice catch, that'll be a first down. They should the, mark the forward progress at about the 27-yard line. That's where they do, Mr. Official. Move those chains, a computer concepts, first and ten is J.T. Mayo, first catch of the day. The punter is very good. He's averaging about 43 yards per punt, and that one may have been partially blocked. It was. That ball takes a U Albany bounce, however, inside the 40, inside the 30, and all the way down to the 26-yard line on a partially blocked punt. That's unbelievable.
Poppenberger across the middle. That is complete for about a nine-yard pickup. As tough as they come, he's going to get back in there if it's at all possible. Poffenberger, the quarterback, he will hand the football off, and that'll be a first down run across the 40, down the sideline of the 50, and finally run out of bounds by the aforementioned David Ruley, but not before uh, their running back, uh, Griffin Waddell, gets into William Mary territory at the 38-yard line, first and 10. And Woodell will get the football. Cutting it upfield. He's got some room. Right up the gut. Inside the 30 and down to the 25, maybe to the 24-yard line. Another first down for Albany. They're looking excellent on this drive. And Woodell this time will be double teamed and knocked to the ground back at the 27-yard line. John Apalco, as long as been 46, he is 10 of 13. This guy's got Bonofsky's uh, numbers, basically, as good as, as kicker as William & Mary uh, kicker is. The kick is up, and it is good from 42. Quarterback is Poffenberger on third and 24. He is hit in the backfield and dropped. Another quarterback sack by Christian Ham. Tribes going quickly, another quick throw, and it's an intercepted right in the arms. Darius Wilson's got to make a stop, and he does not have him yet inside the five and the one, and he might have scored. And that's the uh, run play, and that's going to be Martin uh, Lucas, I think, across the 40 with a nice run.
shotgun formation. Three receivers to the far side and one to the near. Of course, there are Albany playing very safe. They got three deep men almost at the goal line. And here is the pass away, lofting it towards the goal line. Mostly black uniforms down there, and they will come up with the interception. to the 39. Poffenberger back to pass, rolling to his right. Still rolling and now throwing it downfield into the end zone. The defender has not turned around yet. It's going to be incomplete or, or no, an interception? An interception, yes. Making that interception by Malcolm Spitzer. If I'm not wrong, we'd love to see it again. Darius Wilson, the quarterback. He's got a man beside him. That's Hollis Mathis. Three wideouts of the game. Back to pass he goes. Rolls to his left. Looking for somebody open. Nobody there. Not going to run the football. He's got 7-8. He's got a first down run across the 30. JT Mayo in the slot, man in motion, the tight end coming over here with them on second down and 10. Darius Wilson will pitch back to the right side. That's going to be Hollis Mathis. He'll have, have a hole across the 40 and out to the 45-yard line. Another first down run. Take a handoff and roll to the left side on second down and short. Throw it downfield complete to Ulai. He's got a first down and then some inside the 20 and pushed out of bounds. The Tribe's in the red zone for the first time this afternoon. The fourth personal foul against Albany in this ball game. It is first and goal for the Tribe at the six-yard line. The ball placed on the left hash. Tribe trailing 17 to nothing. 6:39 remaining in the third. Darius Wilson from the shotgun formation got two wideouts to the right side. Now the tight end is set to the near side as well. That's a. Uh, Turner, handoff that way, right side, that is Martin Lucas inside the five and down to around the three-yard line. It'll bring up second down and goal from there. Quarterback is um, Martin Lucas. Martin Lucas, yeah, yeah, good call. Left side, three-yard, one, one-yard line and drops to his knees at the half-yard line. Third down and goal to goal from the half yard line. Everybody up front, strong formation. Martin Lucas tries to dig and get in. Did he? We're waiting for a signal. 
We are waiting for a signal. He was pushed back. I thought the ball did get over the uh, goal line, but they're saying no. And the Tribe is indeed going to go for it. Martin Lucas is still the running back. Big offensive lines got their mission ahead of them as they break the huddle to our right. It's a uh, it's Martin, Lucas, Martin yeah. Lucas. And he'll go to the left side, dip his shoulder, and will not get in. Third and a long five for Poffenberger and company. He will hand the football off on the left side. That's Griffin uh, Woodell who finds a little bit of a seam and makes it happen. Three wide receivers and a tight end, and indeed you are correct. He whisks the ball downfield and gets the first down. That's Bevin at the 40-yard line inside the 50, and finally brought down to the 45. The ball is loose, though, and William and Mary came, comes up with it at the 44-yard line. Kevin Gerald somehow came up with that loose ball, and somebody knocked it away. Well, and if I'm the tribe, I snapped that ball pretty quickly. I'm not sure his knee wasn't down. to the near side. One of those in motion now goes to the opposite side of the football field. Quarterback is Reese Poffenberger and he will hand the football off. Nope, he's going to keep it himself. Show another uh, part of his game in the 40 and to the 30-yard line. Tries to get the sideline and steps out of bounds at the 25-yard line. First and ten. Back to pass the quarterback in the pocket. Throwing it long. He's got a man wide open. And he hits his man, Hollis Mathis, at the 30-yard line. Snap, faking the hand off, rolling out to the right side. Darius Wilson looking in the end zone, going to throw it short to the left side, complete to the tight end at the 20, inside the 15-yard line or thereabouts. Back 
Back to pass. Darius Wilson going to run that football. He's got to run it now at the 10. Cuts up at the 5. Dives in for the score. Touchdown, William and Mary. Touchdown, green and gold. Darius Wilson takes it upon himself to get into the end zone and negate the shutout. Wilson under center. Rolls to his left. Now goes back to his right. Now peeking out, trying to run that ball at the five. Skips away and gets into the zone for the two-point conversion. There it is, and this one is over. The Albany Great Danes have defeated William & Mary, two top 25 teams in the country, and Albany clearly uh, a bit better than the Tribe this afternoon. The final score from Albany, New York, U Albany 24, and the Tribe of William & Mary 8.